Hello and welcome to Best of the Bottom, where bottom class people drinking bottom shelf booze. And I am the Reverend JP. I am. And I just really realized I forgot to do something. Bam! Names are up where they're supposed to be. And as you can see, we are doing this away from each other due to uh, some family issues. Well, not really family issues. I'm divorcing Diane as my sister. <laughs> we all knew it was coming. Yes, was for time. for her her commitment to the family business, it's been a sham, it's been a shame, and I'm done with it. I'm done with it. But no, no, I just that Deb was in the hospital. <laughs> I mean, yeah. just <laughs> I was just from the hospital. Yeah, we we talked about it before, so. She's in El Paso right now. She might have been coming home. She's not. So Diane was down there with the good old Mr. Maverick Super Juice. <laughs> that is his name now. He is Maverick. Mr. Maverick Super Juice. Bam. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to trademark that for you. <laughs> well, thank you. Now, now, now I've totally got to get things back on track because I'm all... This combined bullet and distraction. Distraction? Distraction. Oh, you know what? Mm. All those things. But some of the things we like to do on this show to get things officially rolling, we have what we call the bag. I'm afraid to go too far from my, my headphones. But the bag of do. The Doom! The Bag of Doom! Now you see in this bag, we have a bunch of random shots in here. I go to the liquor store. Well, actually, I went to the liquor store a while ago, and I had to buy a butt ton of miscellaneous shots, and that is what is in here. A bunch of shooters. We don't know what they are. We reach in here, we grab it, we take from the Bag of Doom, and we have to take whatever's in here. And as of tradition, Ben goes first. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Does anybody believe uh, that's working? I uh, I reached over with one hand and I grabbed it with the other one, so I didn't even necessarily. Yeah, I, I'm not good at. This. Yes, <laughs> but I got Revel Stoke pineapple whiskey. And I got absolute juice, um, apple edition. So, okay. So, on my way to drop some stuff off to Diane so we could do this podcast, I stopped at a liquor store over there so I could get a few extra shots. I got those extra shots hoping to reduce my chance of grabbing a whiskey because there's a butt ton of whiskey in that bag. So I got... 10 more extra shots that are like flavored vodkas, some 99s, all that stuff. And I still grab a goddamn whiskey. <laughs> <sighs> well, this is a pineapple. Oh, but that's just freaking disappointing. Pineapple whiskey don't sound great. Better <sighs> than just whiskey whiskey, I suppose. But Let's take a shot and get to our headlines. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. 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 No, sir. I don't like it. Actually, it's not that bad. My is that bad. It's it's different. I forgot we were supposed to review them afterwards. I was just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. That's inside me, belly. All right. Pineapple. I enjoy a lot of pineapple flavored stuff. I'm not sure how well pineapple works in a whiskey, but you know, it's 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 fair enough. But on I, a hamster, would it be delicious on a ham? On a ham or a hamster? Well, you said well, not a hamster. I was not, 
I thought you said on a, on a hamster. I heard you say hamster. Hamster. I was treating you with respect. I said hamster. Oh, oh ham, sir. I heard hamster. No, sir. But because I feel like if you were to drink this off of a hamster, that would be worse. But if you were to glaze a ham in this, it might be all right. There's kind of a honey quality to it. Sorry, that just sounds tasty. That's my new thing. Everything, like, <laughs> since the watermelon thing, I'm like, can we put it on food? <laughs> <laughs> can we put it on ham? I was just like, meat. Yes. I'm so hungry. <laughs> My internet's being a little unpleasant right now. I'm right getting now, a little. I'm, I'm getting a little air. The little sign saying, "Hey, bro, your internet sucks." But you know yeah. what? I'm gonna carry on and sally forth. I was trying to look cute in my leather jacket, but it's way too goddamn hot. You know what I forgot to do before do the bag of doom? What? If you like this sort of thing, we have audio versions available at bestthebottom.podbean.com. And if you're watching on Catch Up on YouTube, like, share, subscribe. Help us grow. Click those buttons. Do those youtube things we like you to do. Because those things help us make some money. So this stuff can all be free and we can grow and have fun together. And come up with better projects. Don't you like learning new recipes and find out if they suck or not? I know I do! And you can find links to all our stuff at Perico Productions at PericoProductions.com It has links to everything. TikTok, YouTubes, all of it. All of it. It's right there. Check it out. Click the link. And our stores gifting cannabis in Las Cruces? And for booze in the news this week, is the seltzer trend already dead? Find out. Before we get things officially rolling, we have what is called the Florida Man that I did not update in the thing. Never did. Uh, I did I've done it a couple of times, but the Florida Man we're doing this week. Watch, watch this. Watch this, watch, watch, watch this. <laughs> Florida Man. <laughs> Let me pull up the headline for Florida Man this week. That might just be easier. Just just get like a fancier thought on that shit. And just leave it like that the whole time. True. That's you just that makes things light easier. That's you know? it. <laughs> uh, that's why you're the smart one and I'm the pretty one, Diane. For this week's Florida man, a Florida a Florida man arrested, caught on video using a samurai sword to fight over a wheelbarrow. Now, if you remember, uh, several weeks back, we had we had a similar incident. We had a similar incident of uh, a man attacking uh, somebody in traffic with a sword. Um, there was a little time travel incident. Um, he got just whoop, sucked sucked through a time hole and ended up in the future. He came from the knight in shining armor, just had a sword. Somebody almost hit him and his horse, and he attacked the driver. Do you remember this? Do you remember this story a little bit? Okay. The time hole has struck again. This poor samurai. This poor samurai was in the midst of submit, su, of committing sambuku. Sambuku? Sambuku? I do not know if I'm saying that right. Right? Yes. You know what? Let's let's ask Google. Let's see. Let's see. Seppuku. 
Seppuku, right? Seppuku. He was in the midst of it. He had unfortunately failed. He failed his feudal lord. He was ashamed. He was deeply ashamed. And he was in the midst. But alas, the time hole came down and just sucked him right out. Right out. And dropped him in front of this man with a wheelbarrow. Just dropped him there. He had no idea what's happening. And now there's no way to reclaim his honor. There's no way. And suddenly this man is coming at him with a wheelbarrow. He doesn't know what's going on. There's just a man with a wheelbarrow wielding towards him. Who knows what weapons he's got in there? And he just, he's already got a sword drawn. He's already got it drawn. He's like, he was right in the throes of everything. And suddenly he's in a panic. He can't honor his feudal lord. And he went after the man with the wheelbarrow. He just went after the man. He wasn't expecting this. He's already failed. He's already having the worst day of his life, trying to do everything he did again to restore honor upon his clan. And the time hole has taken this away from him. The time hole has just thrown him into Florida of all places. And now, unfortunately, this once honorable samurai had not won but two failures. One may or may not have been a fault of his own. We don't know. Did he have too much sake the night before? Maybe. Did somebody put that baggie of, I don't know what you call weed in Japanese? I don't, I don't know. I was trying to think of a slang term. But did somebody put that bag of weed in his saddle? I don't know. But you know what? Things happened and he has failed. One no fault of his own because of the time hole. And he was just doing what he thought he needed to do. He was being attacked by a crazed maniac with a wheelbarrow. I mean, I think it's only natural. It was just natural instinct kicked in. And he fought as hard as he could. Until Miami Dade... Um, that was it. Yeah, Miami Dade Metro showed up and, you know, had to take the man down. He had to take the man down. But this poor man, just trying to restore honor, dashed by time, makes fool, fools of us all. Fools of us all. Dan, what's your input? Um, my God, can you imagine? It's a devastation. That's a, real, that's a real tearjerker or the beginning of a great anime? <laughs> Manga coming out 2032. <laughs> <laughs> they become buddies in like, like a, turns out Wagon Driver is uh, with a, I don't know, I don't know, undercover cop or something. He would get brought into the agency. Yes. Samurai yes. cop. <laughs> 2032. Netflix. <laughs> Damn, it's there. It's right there. It's there for you. They, once again, been... once again, That's Tokyo... Been... Tokyo, give us a call. We got your manga. We got your anime spinoff. You know, we can do some live actions with it. It writes itself. It writes itself. Um, I don't know if Tokyo is like the equivalent to Japanese Hollywood. I don't know where they make these things. Um, I, I don't know. But I'm just saying, give us a call. We'll help. We'll, 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 we'll sell you some stories. We'll sell you stories. I'm just saying. Right? Right. Worth worth comes to it, we'll sell you a cartoon. Yes, yes. <laughs> How about that? Shonen Jump. Bam, right here. Now so we've got to Florida Man. We have finally reached part two. Part D. Part D of our absinthe review. If you remember, weeks ago, we reviewed 
Lucid. We've reviewed this already. And I said we were supposed to do a cheaper view, cheaper version right then and there. But they were sold out. They were sold right the hell out. So I waited. I put my name on a, on a call list. They forgot to call me. That's okay. <laughs> You're there every week anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, either way, I'm there once a week. And I went to Kelly Liquor. And I was just perusing. And I thought, you know what, since I'm here perusing, let's double check. Let's do a little double-double in the check check on aisle 95. I don't know if that's the aisle number. I'm just making it up. But I looked. I looked. And I found... Groon fee. Groon fee is. Let's make some comparisons. Oh, interesting. Groon fee, twenty nine ninety nine. I believe this was sixty seven ninety nine for Lucid. Groon fee, sixty five percent alcohol per volume. Lucid. 62% alcohol per volume. Justin. What? <laughs> Normally that would be a good thing for me, but I'm still dying from the last. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this I have a small set amount. Yes. So, I mean, that's perfect, but oh my God. Still. I will. I will say... What I have observed so far, this looks and smells a lot like Simple Green. <laughs> this oh, fuck my nose. is kind of like, do you remember this one was kind of a pale green in color? Yeah. There's, there's definitely clearly some food coloring in this bitch. Yeah, let's see Patty's Day all over. So... They are both boasting that they are distilled with grand wormwood. I think. Are you are you gonna try um, both? To compare, um, I might compare the colors. Um, Do you just want to compare the colors? I meant in taste, because you're the only one who can uh, taste them side by there. side. Yeah, decide if one's better tasting than the other. I guess it has to be done. So stop, stop looking at it like you're contemplating. Contemplating, it's happening. <laughs> All right. Well, I need another glass. So I'm gonna have to. Uh... Let me, Diana, I'm going to defer to you to uh, do things properly. I'm going to run another glass, uh, be entertaining, do a little song and dance. I don't know. Bob Ray Babbick. I mean, I can't see chat, so, and my phone was dead. <laughs> oh! <laughs> um, every time it cuts me, I've absolutely nothing to contribute. Um, I took shrews the other day. That was something. I uh, felt sick most of the most of the time. I uh, I watched watched uh, a lot of kids movies. Just kind of let Netflix take the wheel. Um, I never realized how hard going to the bathroom would be when you're on the toilet flying through space with barely any concept of a butthole. It was amazing. I came in and just heard a concept of a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't even know what's going on. All right, so now 
<laughs> I've, got two, I've got two That's glasses. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm going to measure these out. Do you have something to measure with? Dude, I don't even have all the stuff I needed because... I was last minute. I was running around. I have ice, water, uh, the booze, but I have no spoon because I left my spoon in my smaller glass. You know, in that spoon. So, bam! One of these days. You know what happened at the last minute? Today's been extra. I know. Today's been total chaos. But I do have the water. I do have the cubes. I okay. Don't have the food. Okay. Well. All right. Side by side comparison. In colors. Yeah. I feel like this is definitely like a pale, like green. This is definitely only colored with uh, plants. Because it's definitely more like a natural green. This, this is the Incredible Hulk's dick. <laughs> <laughs> I really believe it's, it's St. Patty's beer. St. Patty's Day beer. That would be the color. All right. Sure, we'll go with that. All right. Okay, you don't like it. You don't have to. <laughs> it wasn't that amazing. I like yours better. We'll call it the Hulk. The Hulk stick. The Hulk stick. You're right. That's better. I'm just going to toss mine in here, I guess, because... It, it just sounds more disappointing on my end. Yeah. So. Well, just probably in general... I don't think that one landed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Okay. So I guess I was supposed to. I'm just going to toss shit in here. Well, I get, you know, nothing has come out the way we planned it to. Nothing at all. So We're just doing the already, best. We... You Did you already have the absinthe in there? And then you threw the cube in the water room? I threw the cube in there, and then I threw the absinthe and the water in. Oh, okay. I'm just going to wait. Do that at the same time. Skip that step. What color is yours? It's still pretty green. Mine is not. <laughs> yours isn't green? Um... It's green. Oh yeah, mine's, like, it, a, mine's like a Baja Blast. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, mine mine's kind of Baja Blast too. So side by side. Ah! Still artificial Baja Blast green. This has turned kind of that pale white that jizzy color that everybody likes to point out. It's a very jizzy color. And now I've spilt it all over my keyboard. Now I'm hoping I don't hit any buttons and do some weird shit. Yeah, I'm going to just hold my drinks because I'm working with, like, a TV tray. <laughs> yeah. So I can't really put anything Oh, uh, man. Wah, wah. Cat hair just floated in my one of my drinks. <laughs> Bastard. Bastard-ass cat hair. All right, Diane. Ah. Uh. I'll be honest, I'm not looking forward to this. When Justin told me, like, sent me a picture of this, 
I just sent him that little kid. Uh, Which, by the way, I never received. I never received it. I never received oh, it. Okay. Well, I, I was just trying to make gif of that little kid uh, crying, do it, like during that interview, and he just starts crying or laughing, and then he just starts crying out of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, that's well, that, think, and then just falls apart. That's well, how I felt, Diane. You do remember how this whole thing went down. No, I call. I called you. Well, actually, I sent you the picture, saying, "Hey, look, I found it." And then you sent me that picture that I never received, and then that. Oh yeah. Then, okay. Then at some point I called you back and I was like, I'm at Walmart. Do you want to go ahead and go through with part two of Absinthe or should I get up something else different? And then I said, no, 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 we've been waiting this long. Let's just get it over with. Let's just do this. And then he didn't even, he didn't even give me a chance to answer the question. Cause I would have said for love of God, no. Yeah. <laughs> But I figure part of the thing is, is you just got to, you got to make yourself bit miserable for the camera. And that's, that's what we're probably going to do here. And now I have I to do. I have to make myself miserable for the camera. <laughs> this is miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to drink two now. So. <sighs> Was I supposed to pour all of mine in there? No. Just pour a shot worth in there. And then, like, this this, this podcast is going to kill my enjoyment of absinthe. <laughs> God damn it. The last one didn't? Oh, oh, you mean the podcast in general? Yes. Not this particular show. No, but the last one, like, I felt like in time I can go back to it. But this bottle has been sitting here for weeks, and I have not even touched anything in here until today so Diane to get this over with to get this over with clap <sighs> oh thank you put that over there <sighs> This one, it, the the Grunfi is definitely a lot more like artificial tasting. Like, I don't know if it's maybe just because the color looks so artificial. You've already made your mind up about the. But yeah, I feel like I feel like this just tastes a lot more artificial. Like quite a bit more artificial. I'm not digging it. Yeah, I really, <sighs> I really don't want to drink it anymore. Well, we got to at least get through a cup. Well, I'm going to compare it to this one right now. <sighs> May the gods guide and uh, bless you. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know what to do with myself when you're not here. I, I always find myself. <laughs> you just, you, just like, you fall apart. You fall apart. Because yeah. I also forget like I'm doing stuff. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, oh, oh yeah, we got a show going on. Yeah, it feels like something when we're together, but when we're not, I, I just like. This one tastes more real, but that's, that's the best. But the only problem is, the only thing I'm tasting right now is the misery of the night after. <laughs> so I'm forever gonna acquaint these these two flavors of misery. Now, are there other drink? Cocktail options we can do with these? Yes. 
What would they be better in those situations? Probably. Did I prepare to do those other situations? No, I didn't. So uh, we're going to continue on this journey. Tasting misery. I, I don't I don't want to continue on this journey. Diane? I don't want to. Can I tap out? No, you can't. Frodo, you're, don't go where I can't follow. You have to at least finish one glass. One glass. Along with me. I got to figure out how to put away two of these glasses. Because... This shit's expensive, and I don't want to waste it. <laughs> what you need to do is you need to get two of those straws and stick them in, both drinks at the same time, stick it in your mouth, and just suck it up immediately. <laughs> both at the same time? Oh, mm -hmm. I, feel, I, I feel like I'd feel horrible the next morning. Yeah, you'd hate yourself, and you would hate me. We'd yes. literally break apart the family, because you'd be like, I can't even look at that broad. <laughs> then this would be into the podcast officially. I'd be finding a new host. You'd be probably suing me. <laughs> you know I ain't got shit. So <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Yes, I'm gonna sue you for the nothing that you have. I want all your nothing, all of it, with interest. Oh. My stomach's already upset. My stomach is already upset. I know. It's it's the feeling of regret and also realizing you're not really going to hallucinate. You're just going to have the worst hangover and you're drinking black licorice flavored liquor. I will say we were definitely an extra fun version of Drunk That, that, that podcast. Where are we? <laughs> I didn't even look. Cause I, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of check out... Uh, I, I've been kind of checking out some of them afterwards, but that one was one where I was just like, I might just lose that along. <laughs> <laughs> I I got too. Too drunk. Yeah, you did. I, I definitely did too. That next morning was horrible. My stomach felt so horrible. I just, I don't recommend drinking absinthe in such high volumes. I didn't it's even just... think of it as a high volume because honestly, the drunk is so much different. Like I felt very chill, calm, like relaxed. And then, and then next thing I know, I'm laying on the floor. <laughs> just, I have so many pictures of me afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I barely remember putting on the wig. But I have a shit ton of pictures. I was going to maybe see if I can put it up to the thing to show you. Oh. Of me just like with this fucking wig on looking drunk. as like. I don't remember that even happening. No, because I was in the bathroom. Oh, oh, okay. I'm guessing I chilled out there for a bit. Well, I, or maybe I could sit. There's one. <laughs> Got the wig kind of off, looking a little. I don't know. Did you? Use... This one's fun. Yes, it looks. It looks like something died on your shoulder. Now something died on your shoulder and you're contemplating eating it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I thought. Oh, that's a video. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. You're, you're like, oh, I need a video of this now. How much you want to bet I'm sitting on the toilet? Oh, no, I'm by the door. I see it. Oh. <laughs> I just want to say, if you listen to the audio version of this, Diane is just found this this old man wig that I have. I'm trying to know what oh, it is yeah. right now. And 
two of the pictures she has it on just barely and the other three it's just like laying on her shoulder and she's making weird faces one looks like she's contemplating idiot 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 eating the damn thing and the other ones she's just one i think she's slightly remorseful about its death and the other one she's puzzled by its death <laughs> If I remember correctly, that seems to be the faces that were being made in there. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> but either way, this just happened at some random point that I don't even know when. So, Dan, do you want to. After, like right after, before we did the, the second stream. Yeah. I would say it was probably in, in the intermissions section. But let me find this week's booze in the news. This is going to come from CNN.com. And where's my scroll? Okay, there it is. Booze in the news. Is the seltzer trend already dead? So as you're pretty well aware of, since White Claw hit the market, uh, the seltzer industry has exploded. Like, I think every single brewery out there has some sort of seltzer. Natural Ice has a goddamn natural. They have a Natty. seltzer. Yes. Natty Ice or Natty Light. They have a seltzer. We tried that on the podcast. It was terrible. We've tried Bud Light Seltzer, Corona Seltzers. Sorry, things are happening this <laughs> uh, I believe Maverick is making an announcement that somebody should run. <laughs> Either that or he's really into uh, listening to uh, Foster the People right now. <laughs> you know, pumped up kicks and all that. But anyway, so <laughs> back to the seltzers. Now that motherfuckers are done running. So every company's got seltzers. And then some other companies, there's like Truly Seltzer. There's some small brew house seltzers. There's seltzers all shapes and sizes. I mean, Four Locos got seltzers, which were also terrible. Did, did and, we try Four Loco seltzers? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we did. So there's a Boston beer company. Uh, the creators of Truly Hard Seltzer. Basically, they've noticed that there's been a lot of plummeting in the sales of the seltzers. And even in the stock, I guess, uh, shares plummeted 25%. And this article was written on July 23rd. And basically, it just seems like since everything has come about, there's so many different seltzer companies. People are they, – they, they feel like they got – there's brand confusion. People aren't sure what seltzer to buy. But I think that's kind of a lame excuse. I mean, there's, there's a shit ton of beers out there. But either way, I think it's just oversaturated market. So, you know, people are just buying whatever because – Whatever they're the the brand that they tend to be fond of, like you got your Bud Light peeps that are always going to be drinking Bud Light. You got your Corona peeps that drink everything Corona. So I think a lot of the the sales and stuff are just being divided so widely. You know, White Claw came on the market; they caused the explosion. Then there you got Truly, and I think Corona came along later on. There's just so much saturation. It's just, it's impossible to, you know, let your brand shine and do its own thing. And to be honest, seltzers don't have a great deal of flavor. You know what I mean? That's why I like them, but like, I don't know how pricey they are. 
in relativity this well in relativity there's a lot of stuff out there that can get you drunk <laughs> yeah quicker and probably for less but like seltzers aren't i don't i don't mind the lack of flavor because when i'm trying to get there i rather have a lack of flavor while i'm trying to get wasted you know if I got too much drink, flavor yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly so to me seltzers taste like you've already been drinking for a while you know <laughs> when everything kind of starts to not really have a taste and you're just chugging whatever yeah that, I, uh, I rather like honestly so it's seltzers i don't know how much the average alcohol per whatever can is but uh I think most seltzers fall on kind of similar uh, beer, four and five percent. And then you got some that are heavier with six percent. Uh, and of course, I think the four locos were thirteen, but that's because you know, four loco. What what? Ah, uh, this this absinthe part two thing, part D, was just so such a bad idea. I'm still yeah, just struggling. I, know, I, think gonna, I think I'm going to just chug mine. I'm afraid that the gods, you know. I feel like me. I feel like chugging is just going to make you more likely to vomit. Very, it's possible. You peeked on here. I haven't yet. I think I'm just. I'm still just relieving, reliving, just like the negative stomach energy that happened on this. We was called just. Me? When you called me and you were at that Walmart contemplating whether we were going to do this or not, you talking about it, I was laying there and I, my stomach just st like started to feel so <laughs> bad. And then I was like, when I hung up, I was like, oh, God, we were so close to doing something <laughs> different. <laughs> we were close. I thought about it, but it just... just it's not even that bad necessarily in taste it's just i was so hung over last time i really am struggling oh, it was like one of the worst feelings i've experienced yeah. justin bought me a uh sausage biscuit from mcdonald's and i couldn't even enjoy it because <laughs> it was so damn sick and sausage biscuits from mcdonald's to me are like I don't know. I used to eat them all the time as a kid, so it's one of those things whenever I eat them, I'm just like, oh my god. And I couldn't even enjoy it because I just I got outside of Justin's house, got into my car, threw up in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Had to start peeking outside and went on my way. <laughs> yeah, no, every time I, I glance over, I'm just kind of like, ugh. There are two glasses sitting in front of me, Diane. You two Make it that big. I'm definitely, I think the second one's going to be drank off camera later on. I'm going to have to figure it out. It's going to be tough. I might, to, I might have to get creative and try to find some way to mix it with something. Maybe if I, because I got some of this bubbly seltzer. Maybe I can add some of this to it. Maybe that'll do something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be horrible. I don't know what to do. Diane, I'm I emotional. Don't... Jesus Christ. Okay. This is going to be horrible. I don't envy you because, I mean, this is where Demonic Diane comes in. I, I, I made you pour yourself another full glass of absinthe. Ah, oh, you, you evil, evil person. I am going to get you devil horns. Ugh. You're the one that caused the misery the last time. You That's you punished us both. I'm a little bit of a masochist, but I just happen to dabble in enjoying other people's suffering. <laughs> You're a sadist and a masochist. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> oh, it was, just, it was oh, horrible. Oh. We'll enjoy ourselves for right now, and then we'll die uh, later. 
Yes. So, do you want to hear an update on the man that cut off somebody's head with a pocket knife? Yeah. Okay. I haven't been following it. It's probably one of the most interesting things that has ever happened in Las Cruces. But I haven't been following it. So, I've been kind of following it, as you know, that I kind of know some people since, you know, being a medic, kind of get a little bit of the inside track. Um, and there was, I heard a rumor. I wanted to come in here and I was going to rant and rail against the system. I was going to, I was going to, I was going to do a whole podcast if this ended up being accurate. I was going to post all kinds of stuff about how New Mexico legal system is complete dog shit. Doniana County is the worst. I was going to just rail on everything so hard on what a failure and an objective objective no just a joke of what the legal system is i don't know i'm just i'm i'm out of good words this is obviously synthetic absence because lucid inspired all kinds of big vocabulary this is just blithering idiot right here but so I started doing my own research. I looked everything up. I looked up his um, mugshot. I found him in the the detention center thing because from what I had heard is this man had been released on a clerical error that he was supposed to have no bond and that he was released on some kind of bullshit bond. But. So after hearing that, I want to double check, make sure, you know, ducks on the road before I go on and just fucking completely shame our legal system, which I have my own feelings about that. Either way, there's been some errors made many a times. So I looked into it and I think somewhere the rumor came from is there's a some previous articles talking about in 2017 when he had shot and killed somebody he was released um later on that year cuz i guess there was a key witness that was that owned a gun of the same caliber that killed the person that he was accused of it's some really lame Bullshit. It just doesn't sound like it makes sense. There's lots of people that own the same caliber of weapon. So some bullshit happened. It actually let him get off. And that that case was dismissed um, without prejudice. So if they wanted to, they could retry him for that, that case at some point. It was dismissed because of lack of evidence, but it wasn't... Like, he wasn't acquitted or anything else, so... Double Jeopardy doesn't apply. They can retry him for that same thing. So 2017... Was that, dog or was that thunder? That was, that was thunder. It's getting pretty thundery over here. So he got released in 2017. And then a few weeks prior to killing this man and then decapitating him with a pocket knife and supposedly playing soccer and all the other stuff that went along with it. He he had, I guess, uh, did some uh, public damage. He was thrown in jail, was released on $2,000 bond for uh, like vandalism, causing some damage to a property. And I guess one of the artic- one of the, the, the prosecuting attorney was arguing that he not be released. But at the time, he's being prosecuted for some vandalism. So they didn't view him as a threat or danger to the society. And then he murdered this person that. So it, it, it was. Did he, did he, whatever he vandalized, did he write, hey, I'm going to cut off some people's heads? It doesn't say. But honestly, if that's what it said, I'd be like, he what the threw, fuck? Uh, but the the whole the whole story is is the three people involved 
are all homeless. And it's basically claiming that the, the victim had sexually assaulted the accused girlfriend. The, the defendant's girlfriend stole from her and sexually assaulted her is supposedly what happened. And that's why this man says he killed him and then decided to spend three and a half hours cutting off his head with a pocket knife and then supposedly playing soccer with his head. That's kind of the whole story, but it turns out looks like he is still in custody. So I don't have to get on a high horse and rant about how ridiculous the legal system is, which there's a lot of stupid things that have gone on in the legal system, but at this point, I don't have to get all uppity. I don't have to this time. Maybe next time, but not this time. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's like such a crazy story. <laughs> like, <laughs> I almost feel like some parts, like, because everybody's been talking about it, but I'm just like, I feel like it keeps getting like crazy and crazier stuff added to it. So I don't even know what yes. necessarily is true or what isn't just because like shit like that doesn't really happen around here. And I yeah. feel like everybody is like adding stuff to it. Like, well, I do know for sure that he did cut off somebody's head with a pocket knife and what the stuff of being like three and a half hours or whatever is being reported by him when he was arrested because he was found sitting under a tree holding the head is what I later found out. And he had dragged the body out into the middle of the roadway. Yeah. I, I heard he, he dragged the body out into the roadway. That and, was like a constant thing. And he's also saying that he had, played soccer with a guy's head and apparently it bounced off of 15 vehicles that were parked in the area which may or may not be true I don't know they did have a large section of that area blocked off so he probably uh, was kicking it around yeah so to whether it bounced off cars or not I have no idea and then I'd say, yeah, the most of it, a lot of the stuff is coming from his confession of him saying, but of course, now he's pleading not guilty. But either way, he the I confirmed in the article I said he's he was denied bond, he's being held without bond. And then I also double checked when I looked on the detention center website where you look to see the inmates, it does show that he is being held without bond. Well, that's good. Yeah, so you lucked out this time feeling the wrath of this 12th rate podcast where we're drinking I, absinthe to make us miserable. You know how long I'm going to have this absinthe sitting around the house? Do you yeah, have a lot of time. Like, if there's a lot of booze left over, I'll hit Justin up and be like, hey. Can I have some of this? But I, I have not. Yeah, she has not asked I once. I not thought, once. I thought, I thought the butter uh, scotch not would be there for a long time. Not true. Absolutely. No. They're going to be there a little way longer. No. She took a little bit of that, although I still have some of this left, but not much. Not on my darkest day and my darkest hour, sir. <laughs> But this will probably go, I'd say it's not going to last the end of the week. Because I know at some point I'm going to come take some shots of this because this is some good stuff. This is some good stuff. Did we try a shot with just that? What does that taste like on its own? We, we have tried a shot of just this because we've had it in the bag of doom. That's how oh. I discovered it. It's through the bag of doom. I don't recall. Because one of the times when we did the Away podcast, I specifically brought you a shot of just this. 
I know you've tried it because I made sure you tried it because when I discovered it, I was like, oh, this is amazing. And I want to share that experience with you. Well, I, share, <laughs> I share good and bad experiences. <sighs> I like I like to create good or bad experiences. <laughs> You know, I think you like just create bad experiences, to be honest. <laughs> You're just an agent of chaos. <laughs> I think I'm going to try and chug it because I really don't know how to handle this. <laughs> we have 30 minutes left. Maybe I can, well, probably not. I, I was going to say I might like convince boyfriend to try some of this, but uh, I forgot. Probably not. I, uh, yeah, I really don't know what I'm going to do with all this. If I don't chug it, it's not, it's not happening. Yeah. I, I have no desire to sip on this either. So I've just been taking like, I think I've taken two sips and it's almost an hour. So I'm expecting you're probably going to bring back what's left in that bottle that I gave you so I can put it back in this bottle. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Tonight might get crazy and I might, I don't know. I guess I'm under, I don't know. The thing with our sister, by the way, she's doing pretty well. We're yes. just waiting on a couple things. It's not, she's not dying. <laughs> it's not as yes. as times in the past. Yes, it's not near as serious as last time. She's been doing well to take care of herself. So it's not it's not near the same as it was last time. Not at all. <sighs> Definitely waited to make sure that she was not getting out tonight before we <laughs> Yeah, that's not that, podcast. That's kind of where because I'm the whole dops were. That's why I didn't post any things on Twitter or whatever because I wasn't sure what to advertise because I had no idea where the show was going to go tonight. No clue at all. But <sighs> she is doing good. Yes. She's doing good. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like she's probably going to be home tomorrow. Yeah. Pretty so early next tomorrow too, I'm assuming. So I'm definitely trying not to get. Yeah. So I'm gonna drive her home. So. <laughs> yeah. Next week, I assume that we'll likely be here in the same, uh, the same place in the studio. Starting shenanigans. But Diane, do you want to talk about weed again? I, uh, of course. And actually talk about weed instead of last time. When it went all off the rails and barely talked about weed. So, this, this, this is an interesting story. Because this is a double story. I've got the current situation and the update at once. So, the original article I found was comes through ABC7. KVIA.com. The original article was posted July 3rd. And this article reads that you can't buy cannabis yet in New Mexico. Obviously, New Mexico has just passed the legalization as we are waiting for our federal government to do for us. But they have passed a law for recreational cannabis. So it's going to be legal, but it just hasn't officially finalized. and All the regulations haven't quite been worked out. But a small business here in Las Cruces called the Speakeasy found a workaround. If you buy stickers or certain merchandise, they will gift you some weed. So if you were to go into the store and purchase a sticker that's $15, you will be gifted 1.5 grams 
of weed. Ev, I've I, I've heard about this. <laughs> my uh, my dear mother <laughs> talked to me about it, and she's like, "You'll probably end up paying probably a little more than you should." But <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it so, is an extra. It's not too overly priced. Like I said, you get one point five grams for fifteen bucks. So it's not. That's not like absurdly overpriced. No, that's pretty much how it goes on the streets. <laughs> like ten for one. Yeah. So you know, we're we're pretty much on par there. And then of course if you buy oh, the stupid article. All right. And then if you were to buy a fifty dollar sticker, you'll get Eight grams, or no, no, three grams. Fuck, I can't read. I have a line through my phone. Yeah, three grams of cannabis sample, and then a ninety dollar sticker. You get seven grams. Do the well, math. That gets crazy. <laughs> yeah, but either way, fifteen bucks, one point five grams. That's, you're you're pretty you're you're pretty on par. Yeah, that's, and you that's get a sticker. Okay. And to get a sticker. I don't know how big the stickers are. I don't know what they look like. Maybe they got some really cool shit. I have no idea. I don't collect stickers, but I could. But they're <laughs> like they're like stickers. Yeah, they're have, like Do we have like an image of the stickers? I don't have any image of stickers, unfortunately. Did they, did, did they even put images of the stickers? No, but not this. Like everybody's going to come to buy the weed. Who gives a fuck about? <laughs> uh, it, it, I don't think it matters. I think it's just select stickers. It's like $15, 50 90 I don't know. But either way, it was a loophole to do it. And apparently they got 20 employees, and they were had plans to hire 40 more. And they're expected for the people in the store to be making 20 bucks an hour. That's pretty good money. Fuck me, I would definitely apply for that. Do you have? Do you know what the like? Do you have to have your card and all that? No. No. Well, is it going to be a proper? Is is it going to be a proper weed store once it? Uh... Yes, that's 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 the plan. It's to be a proper weed store, but I mean. Oh, I guess you wouldn't have to if it's legal, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's it was supposed. Thinking. Sorry. So, but now I'm about to throw the wrench in the thing. So apparently, the update is today, Speakeasy received a cease and desist order from the New Mexico Taxation well, and Revenue Department from the part that is regulating the cannabis. Now, the thing is, is it's not written. The okay, so what they're saying is, is they don't have anything written expressly stating they can't have the practice of gifting cannabis with purchase of something else. There's nothing stated in there. God damn it, this so, thing keeps cutting out. So can I get my sticker? I really wanted to do that. I really wanted to be a part of it, but you know. Well, apparently that's come to an end for right now, I yeah, think. Because I, I, like, I sent I out the cease and desist. Well, because now they're going to have to go through court and fight this whole thing. Because, like I said, the, the whole thing is, is the attorneys for the speakeasy are basically saying that there is no actual section expressly prohibiting the practice. They're just going to try, they're going to get as much out of as much money out of them as they can in the lawsuit. Cause, and it'll probably get thrown out, but like all the fees to uh, probably fight this thing, it's probably going to suck. 
Yeah. I, I think the big thing is, is our government realized these people found a loophole ahead of time before things went through. And now they're pissed off because somebody found a loophole. So you're going to give them a spanking. So basically, money. basically, I think what they're trying to do is tie them up in court long enough for them to sort this out and come up with all their rules and regulations. Yeah. So that way our government's making sure they're making the buck that they deserve, deserve off of the situation. I believe that is kind of the situation that we're looking at right now is it comes down to our government wants to make sure that they're getting their cut. Uncle Sam is a greedy fucking bastard and he wants his cut. And I think that's where a lot of this comes down to. That's why the cease and desist. But I thought that'd be cool, you know? Hey, can I get uh, some stickers for five bucks a gram? Bam. I really, it's nice. uh, and I love the way that it's called the speakeasy. So it's very, it feels very 1920s and 30s, you know, going into buy some sarsaparilla, you know? Yeah. Well, they definitely won the people's hearts. <laughs> So, <laughs> damn it, it's terrible. Uh, there's a part of me that just keeps like thinking, like you know, we're not, <laughs> we're not really, like, old Diane would be like, what are you doing? <laughs> you New Diane realizes this may have been a mistake. Yes, all the time, all the time. Yeah. I wish I still had that young spirit, but at the same time, it's also like, girl. Yeah. Oh. Very, I'm still kind of am live fast, die young. But as a kid, I was very live fast, die young. <laughs> no, I'm a uh, nah, live slow, die young, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just. I'm just trying to figure out how to get through this. Like I have never had this much trouble. Usually, I'm telling I'm, you, I'm usually I'm by this. It. Usually by this point in the podcast, we're on our second drink easily, easily. Yeah. But this it's, has been rough. Like I realized that our I realized I am realizing that our reviews are pretty much always going to be swayed just based on how hungover we were the last time we drank it. Yes. It's like when we tried that whiskey too, we were both like, it's not good, it's not bad, it's just a reminder of all the yeah. you did when you were drunk. I mean, look, we lived a wild youth and we've made a lot of mistakes. Like to this day, Southern Comfort is a rough one for me. I, it, Southern Comfort is hard to drink. I've had many bad nights on Southern Comfort. And now I feel like Absinthe is joining the, ugh, why did I do that situation? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan. I'm not and, a fan. I, and I don't, I don't remember what the other one tastes like versus this one, but I can tell you, scrap the whole fucking lot. <laughs> for the amount of money that they're asking for it, just piss off. This yeah, is the most historic shit I've ever drank in my whole entire life, and I'm miserable. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is probably gonna be the last time I ever buy absinthe, but at least I got plenty of cool bottles out of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the packaging is fucking great. This is some cool ass packaging. I mean, I was gonna I, say I can't decide. I like the other one better because it's more elegant. But I do appreciate the fairy on that one more. more. Yes, and I think it used to be cat eyes. It used to have cat eyes on it, and I thought it was the dumbest thing. For yeah. Me. And then they kind of switched it this up. Fairy, the fairy. The fairy has devil horns. Hold them up together. But I just, I like I like the packaging on both. I will say the new packaging for Lucid is better than the old one with That's the cat funny. eyes. 
It was Cats the Musical, the liquor. <laughs> Cats the Musical, the liquor. Like, you find, oh shit. Myriad of Roses just raided us with a party of seven. Thank you. What, what? As we're discussing how miserable this absence has got, absinthe, ab, absinthe has made us. This is part two of our absence review. Here on the bottom class channel, we, we're multi streamers. We do some game streaming, but we focus a lot on our podcast. We do a Florida man, we do some booze in the news, myriad of roses. Ooh, ooh. We do, we sample a lot of cheap boozes. We're doing part two. We did a, a Lucid a few weeks back. And that's $67 a bottle, and then groom fee is $30 a bottle. So we want to compare the expensive to the cheap. And then we also get into some random news stuff. We have a Florida man where we do the headline and then make up the story. We usually do that at the beginning of the thing. We have our bag of doom, which is a random bag full of shooters. And then this week we were talking about uh, a Las Cruces business has started a a oh stick him up buckaroo it's a raid from pigeon ultra that's a lovely name <laughs> i like the uh, oh, name comment like oh no her stream crashed right when she raided oh that's her no. i that's terrible i hate sometimes the internet and streaming just they don't want to cooperate they don't want to cooperate but that's, that's some of the stuff we do here. Like I said, we were talking about the news here in Las Cruces. Is there was a store here since we're going through the process of making recreational weed legal here. As well as the feds are discussing. We talked about that in last week's episode. There was a store here that got ahead of the, ahead of the program, already was getting ahead of the laws, and the New Mexico laws didn't like it. They were gifting... Grams of weed, grams of weed for the price of stickers. You could buy $15 stickers and you get 1.5 grams of weed. And then it was like three grams with a $50 sticker and seven grams, a $90 sticker. And of course, Uncle Sam, the New Mexico Uncle Sam, went in there and sent a cease and desist letter and has stopped it. Has stopped it. Yeah. I I thought it was a matter of time before they oh. did stop it. I heard about it and I was just like, no fucking way. I know. It lasted three days. I saw it. Well, it might have been sooner. But Maverick <laughs> told me to rose this about us. Thank you. Thank you, Maverick. Ma what do I call him now? What's his name? Fuck. <laughs> if you don't remember. <laughs> Shit. I don't know what you called it, but it was something fancy. Mr. Maverick something juice. Ah, fuck, I forgot. Roll the tape back. You'll hear it. I thought it was a great nickname, and now yeah. I fucking forgot he, what it is. He's amazing. If you if you do not follow him, if you do not follow Spirit of Roses, if you do not follow Neko, yeah. Moonbeam. There's just a lot of people that need to be followed that we, we would probably spend the next half hour just shouting people out. <sighs> and they'd all deserve it. <laughs> yes. So cheers to you. I'm going to hold my nose and I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> God, it's so bad. It's just, oh, she, she did it. She Oh, she went all the way. She went all the way home with now it. I've got a I'm going to mouth breathe it out of my system. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, so do I, need, do, I need, do I need to do the same thing now? Do I need to follow suit? You don't have to. <sighs> I'm happy to show you up. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to. Oh! Look at that. Moonbeam and Mary live in the same town. Oh. Nice. Yeah. 
nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, like, I don't live, I don't live very far from there. We were actually thinking about uh, meeting up with Moonbeam, and I'm like, oh, that would be, that would be nice. A whole get together of people. That would be cool. Yeah. I wouldn't murder you. I promise. <laughs> it's not throwing down the gauntlet it's a a meetup of uh, shenanigans we'll yeah. gift you a bottle of some absinthe <laughs> that we have left over oh you could have the rest that's how far where from where i live so that's cool <laughs> oh i did it <laughs> oh Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, Maverick Comic is uh, actually my boyfriend, so. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense that you you found us through him. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what a murderer would say. I know. It's I, When it came out of my mouth, I was like, well, wow, way to... Way to burn that bridge of trust before I ever actually had it. <laughs> I was a little too pussy if I um, have ever. Uh, what can I say to sound less murdery? Um, we'll see how that night goes and then we'll dis- discuss murder. Does that yes. sound a little less. Murder is mean, not. How, how about this? We won't promise to, to not murder each other or. To murder each other, we'll just we'll we'll see how things play out. Yeah, we'll see how it plays out. We'll we'll, we'll hit the random nautica, and uh, you know, see where the dice rolls. Now, <laughs> see, now, now we're back to just killing each other. Who wants to go random nautic? <laughs> well, thank you, Myriad, and thank you, Maverick, for. Uh, Point some peeps in the direction of this little podcast that we do, and uh, it usually goes off the rails. Um, I think this is the this is the one this is the one episode, the one episode haven't gone completely off the rails because it is so hard to just go to town drinking this. <laughs> yes. Yes. Not a murderer, but not taking it off the table. <laughs> exactly. That's just that's just what I'm saying. You know. I mean, look, you just gotta you just gotta let things play out and see where they go. See where the world takes you. That's you know, live and let live. Murder and let murder. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know oceans, deserts, Florida, New Mexico, things happen. Oh, I just, oh, have you, you know what, since we were talking about weed, have you heard of Delta 9? I have heard about it. Um, I heard it's really good, but like the whole spice thing, you have some? Is that what my that son, is? Yes, my son Kurt was talking about Delta 9. Yeah, I heard it's a new thing, but like, you know, I'm suspicious just because the whole spice thing turned out to be a disaster. And that oh, was supposed to be like a artificial weed. Oh well, no. This this is still based off of CBD. Oh, so okay. it's, it's it's still like spice is a whole different thing. See, spice is like potpourri with weird chemicals sprayed on it. Oh. Delta <laughs> nine is genetically altered CBD because there's multiple forms of THC, and they activate a different form of the THC that's in the CBD that's like I was trying to understand the full thing but it's not it's not like it's just spice. a couple molecules off from weed basically is what you're basically saying. yeah that's basically what it is I want to try it have you tried it I have not I've I tried a little bit earlier and to me honestly it seemed like just a stronger CBD because I've heard, like, it's, it's pretty decent. I just, you know, whenever... Because I've, I've had my medical card since maybe two, three years ago. Yeah. 
<laughs> so like uh, a new thing to me isn't something I was interested in because I could just get weed. But um, <laughs> I've heard about it and I'm kind of interested. Well, is it this is for you. This for is me? from Kurt. Yeah, that's that's from Kurt for you. But yeah, apparently you can get Delta Nine up from whatever uh, website he got it from. It's like twenty bucks for uh, it's like it's like a pack of cigarettes. You're paying like a dollar for each one. So mm. I don't know how much is in there, but it's is it like a what? It, what am I looking at? Is it like a like a like they have a, a pack. They have a package like a cigarette. Oh, so it's it's like a. Like a yeah. Okay. yeah, that's how they have the package. They so, don't try it on that podcast. But Kurt, I've heard it. it. It actually is a thing, like worth trying. Yeah, uh, Kurt really liked it. He enjoyed it. I tried a little bit. I felt pretty relaxed, but I wouldn't say I felt like back in the day when I used to smoke weed. Like weed, weed. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's legal everywhere because it's based on CBD. It's not. It's not the same as regular weed. It's it's a slightly altered mo- molecule of CBD. I, I actually read an article earlier about it talking about uh, Delta Eight. I'm trying to determine if it's safe or not. Blah, blah, blah. You know, one of those things. <clears throat> but my my oldest son, who's turns 21 in a couple of days. Jesus Christ, I'm an old man. That's right. In a couple of days? Well, not in a couple of days. A couple of weeks. Because August is 18. right around the corner. Yeah. But he has oh his medical God. card. And he... he uh, he smokes on a regular, and he said it was pretty good. Like I said, I'm curious to see. I'm actually thinking about opting. Yeah. I mean, besides the birth control thing and like not the smoking, trying not to yeah. smoke, but um, I kind of think I need to chill out on it because um, I've been lazy lately, <laughs> <laughs> and that's the one thing like. I need to, uh, I might, I, I definitely need a significant reduction in how much I smoke. Yeah. Because I was thinking about doing, but I think, it, I mean, the part, the thing about gummies is you never know what's going to happen to you. <laughs> like, you never know when it's going to kick in and you never know, like, when you're, You've taken it off. You've taken two months. Like next thing you know, you're. you're next just, thing you know, you're riding a futon across the galaxy. Because like I've I've definitely had moments, uh, where I'm just like, well, I I can feel something's hit me. I just don't think it's enough, so I'll go take another one, and then I, and then I'll sit down for a second, and I'll be like, oh my god, no. <laughs> and then I have to sit there and go, in 30 minutes, this one's probably going to hit me too. And where am I going to be? <laughs> what's what's going to happen? Like, You're on the other end of the galaxy and you don't know how you got there. Yeah, it's, you have to definitely be patient and you definitely have to, don't be afraid to cut them in half. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't don't be afraid to uh, scale it back, because you never know. You never know. You never know. Like they yeah. have, they have like ratings and categories. But sometimes, I swear to God, no matter you can get the same thing, and it will hit you different. Like it's that whole thing of like, oh, just just even try this before. Just eat a foot. Eat a foot. You know, that's a real thing. Just you know, just nibble off the ear and then see where you're at in half an hour. It's, 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 yeah, it's, <laughs> I remember my darling sister, I love her to death, uh, she took, <laughs> we took edibles when we went to end, end game, 
and uh, she had to leave. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, yes, I remember that. Like, not even halfway into Endgame, and she was yeah. like, "I think I need to go home now." <laughs> like, I gotta go. Because then she, also... didn't she eat like two gummy bears, or stars, uh, or whatever the hell you had? Yeah, well, because I think I just gave her one. I I said, well, I said two if you want to feel something. Yeah, that's what happened. I said, <laughs> devil's advocate. I said two if you want to feel something. One if, but I'm also like a veteran, so I just kind of, uh, which also is not a good rule to go by. Always one, maybe half. <laughs> yes, don't go off of somebody else that's experienced yeah. somebody that's got the higher yeah. tolerance they're gonna t they're gonna tell you misinformation for your weak souls after the movie they're gonna, they're gonna go base they're gonna go based on what what hits them right and when you when you go for it and you follow their direction game over <laughs> yeah. literally right. game over my sister is in the hospital right now. No joke. She looks <laughs> no, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking of those edibles that she does right this minute. <laughs> I, I fucked her up so bad. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I just, I forget. She doesn't do anything. So she just. She just basically uh, you, you, fell apart. <laughs> he just made it sound like she tried edibles watching Endgame. When Endgame <laughs> came out, and she's been in the hospital since then. <laughs> I mean, maybe if I would have said three, but she was she was down and out for for a long time. But uh, no, she. Uh, yeah, she fucking. <laughs> I felt so bad. I came back and she's laying in the bed. And she's just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, Deborah, are you all right? And she's like, I don't know what's going on with life. <laughs> and I'm like, well, it was interesting too because uh, that uh that that uh movie somebody stood up and yelled uh oh my god they've got a gun oh yes i remember that shit and i just remember sitting with my friend just being like well somebody's running nobody's been shot i think we're good but <laughs> just being like we both looked at each other and she was like what did he just say and I, was like, <laughs> I think they said they got a gun and she was just like Oh shit! <laughs> and we were both sitting there, and I was like, "Well, I guess nobody's running, nobody's been shot. I guess this is. I guess we're good. I guess we're good. We're good." <laughs> that was kind of my thought too. I was like, oh, "Wait, what the fuck's going on?" And she was like, the whole time she was like, "I couldn't think of anything else but that." And I was like, "We would have died." I like, I was like, "If somebody, it's just like nobody just stands up and yells, oh my god, he's got a gun.'" Well, that yeah. motherfucker did. That douchebag did. Yeah, but you know, like if somebody actually had a gun in the theater, they would have seen the gun and been like, just fucked up out of it. That's nobody true. Would, like nobody would have stood up and been like, oh my God, he's got a gun. <laughs> and then took off. We would have heard the shots before we. Yes. Uh, somebody had the wherewithal to yell about it. So, yes. I was just kind of like, I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> but it did ruin it for at least one high as fuck person in there. You know, honestly, I kind of wonder how many other people may have gone home because they were high as fuck and like, oh, I can't handle this. I'll have to watch this later. <laughs> it was, because uh, what Deborah said was uh, Iron Man was talking to her. <laughs> and she could not handle it. She was like, Iron, I, all I could feel was Iron Man was talking to me personally, 
and I needed to go home. <laughs> okay. I mean, Robert Downey Jr. just have a certain effect on people. It's powerful. It's powerful. But yeah, um, edibles are, they, they say they're all the same thing, but I really don't know if they've got that totally mastered. But, uh, yeah, I guess it's going to be my thing because I'm trying not to smoke. I'm also very afraid that I'm going to sound just big and name a smoker. <laughs> Like name a female person, yes. you know. Yes. Frog Jim Barney. From the oh. Little Rascal. Oh yes. But um <sighs> I'm super excited for it to be legalized, but I'm also like I'm gonna definitely renew my, my card. Because I don't want to wait in line with the rest of all y'all. <laughs> and if they don't do that, I'm gonna be pissed because I'm paying an extra sixty. <laughs> They'll probably do that and just screw you over. Probably. I don't know, but it's been an hour and a half. I am really over this absent stuff. I think I'm hungry. Chug, 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 chug. Chuck, I drank it. Drink? Yeah, but the other one. Let's have some of this left. Now I want to check I... it. Mm, don't you though? Uh, but <laughs> not fucking with you. Don't drink it. <laughs> it's bad. Don't do it. I just love, I love how you think about stuff. You know you don't want to. Don't do it. Don't even entertain my No, opinion. but see, I always entertain the idea of, is it good for viewing? Is my misery going to entertain people? And see, you don't know if it's going to entertain people until you do it. Are you trying to make yourself miserable to join me? Maybe. I don't know because I'm not. Well, that's the thing that worked on me last time. Because yeah, I'm just it, thinking because I, I don't. I don't I'm gonna put water in it. Yeah. So I guess I'll just pour the rest of this in here. All right, fine. Because then we'll both have two drinks. But but did you put did, only... did you put your sugar cube in there? That's that's, that's the only cool. that's the only thing that makes it slightly bearable. Yeah, that that's extra. true. Wait, hold on. Let me take a sip. Mm. Oh yeah, I forgot we said that last time. That tastes actually more like gin. Does it on its own than it does licorice? It has like a very ginny taste. Oh. Uh. To me, this still this, this, and you'll be good. this still reminds me a lot of Simple Green. That's what it reminds me of, the Simple Green. I'm filling it up to the protein thing. How how, how big is your glass? Is that good? What? I don't know. Yeah. Is it? I, I think I have more than you do. I can't I tell. I have, a, I have a lot of water. I can't tell by scale. Like, I don't know how close you're holding. You're holding it pretty close to the camera. Well, I've got it to my face. Well, you know how big these glasses are. Yeah, I think it's fine. This is like a medium-sized glass. Okay. And this is, well, you know how big these glasses are. You drank out of them. <sighs> All right. Let's chug this down and go out in misery. Father? Father, I, th I think it, well, yeah, but aren't you a father? No, I'm a reverend. Yeah, but aren't reverends fathers? No, it's reverend. I'm not uh, a priest, I, I'm a reverend. I think Di demonic Diane, I don't know how the hierarchy works. Um, 
Now, Mike, Reverend Lovejoy from The Simpsons. Would you would you like to lead us in some sort of um all right well i am an orthodox agnostic so uh, in the name of possibly the father the son the holy spirit the sweet baby cthulhu buddha and ganesh let this demonic jizz coat, coat our souls in some sort of happiness or at least mediocrity. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <sighs> to the moon, Alice. To the moon. Straight to the moon. Give up. Did you get it all? <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> I hate this so much. I hate it so, so much. I hate it. I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it too. That's why I didn't drink life. I am choking. I'm I'm holding back the vomit so hard right now. My tongue has gone numb. That's the thing though with absinthe. I swear to God, it makes my tongue numb every time I drink it. This one does. I don't know about this one. This one I can't tell, but oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate it so much. I hate this. I really hate okay. this. Okay, I'll try. I'll try to get more of this out. <laughs> oh my god, I got. Oh. oh. Are you uh. seen fairies? Oh, the furries! The furries! The furries <laughs> are kicking me in the balls. Oh. This That's is a awful. better visual. That's probably more accurate. This is horrible. This is bad. This sucks balls. I'm so proud <sighs> of myself. Okay. You did <sighs> you should have closed your you, you should have closed your nose. It 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 wouldn't help. I just it, it's still just and then it's you bad. Have, you throw a mouth breed through your mouth and it <sighs> No, the problem is as soon as it hits my stomach. Yeah, I just, my stomach's already fucked up. That's why I quit. Because honestly, I will, mm. I will throw up. I'm gonna try, <laughs> but I will throw. Up. Uh, okay. uh, can you do this? I feel like such a, like a pansy, and I feel like I'm shaming my former self, but I'm also like. Uh, you weren't worth it anyway. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. I feel Jesus. great shame. Thank you. Make a tulip be with you. <laughs> well, I can't even watch you. Well, oh, I can't even look at you. Oh. I, yeah, uh, I got shit. Oh. Uh, Stop it. You're making it work for me. Uh, okay. Give me a song, Justin. Do my belly. I can't play you a song. We're live. I said, sing me a song. Oh. Uh, 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 Was that you singing? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Barely, 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 barely. Life's about a disgusting fuck face. Oh, Jesus. All right. Why would you sing a song about waves? And... I don't know. Okay. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after Wait, is that copyright by Disney or is that open market? I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking... Think so, 
DreamWorks used it in Shrek. Oh, that's right. Well, all right. Well, <laughs> I don't know who owns it now, but by strict, strict standards. This has been Best of Bottom. We're bottom class people drinking bottom shelf booze and fears watching us on replay on YouTube. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Do all those YouTube things. Oh. Oh wait, they didn't use it on Shrek. That was a whole different song, but it was yes. like. Uh, you, you can find links to all our stuff at Perico Productions at PericoProductions.com TikTok links, YouTube links the, the Twitch, the Twitters all of it, we have audio versions available at bestofthebottom.podbean.com you can listen to us there this has been rough and I hope our misery has brought joy to your life if it hasn't it's brought joy the fuck to you. yeah uh. <laughs> Reverend, Reverend, are you okay? But please, you know, if you're watching us live on Twitch, hit that follow button. Give us a follow. You know, join us. If you want to subscribe, we really appreciate that. Everything helps. We're trying to make things better. You know, we can't grow without finances. And the more you show Twitch that you like us and YouTube, It'll help us get better at our jobs, maybe. I don't know. We're bad at this. This is rough. I'm global. What? We're relatively decent at this. We suck right now, but a lot of things are going on. Also, <laughs> True. Um, it's part of the charm. How about that? Oh damn! Neko just jumped in. I just saw her. Her chat. She <laughs> sent some cupcake. <laughs> Neko! Oh, you're here at the very end. Did you just finish your stream? Oh, I appreciate you showing up, even though we're about to sign off. And we're... The love <sighs> of my, my life and also should be yours. <laughs> Neko Cupcake. Yeah. We, we just did part two of the absent thing. That's horrible. I really want to vomit. Um, Neko, I'm glad you showed up. You know... Better late than never. We love to see you in the chat. That's fantastic. <sighs> but I'm still trying to gather my yeah, my we, emotions we together. Chugged, we chugged a uh, decent amount of absence. And it hurt. It was painful. Yeah. I can feel it. It's like I can feel I'm, it almost in my throat. Yeah, That's I can feel thing. it. Like, my stomach literally feels like the washing machine on spin cycle. But I'm yeah. glad you could come and say hi, too. Thank you. It was lovely to see you. But we're going to have to bid everybody adieu because I'm probably going to go vomit. And, you know, like I said, give us a follow, give us a like, share, subscribe, join our family. We love you guys. Just bring it in. Bring it in. And we'll see you next time. Tastes pretty good.